Hey, I'm Melanie Johnson. I'm here with John Comstock, one of the speakers at Habitude Warriors Conference here in Dallas. And Jen Foster, my partner in crime, is behind the camera here at the conference. She's being the cameraman. So, John, I don't know anything about you, so I'm so excited to find out. You're a speaker. What are you going to be speaking about? Okay, well, uh, I was the last bonfire survivor uh, at the Texas A&M bonfire collapse. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, I remember when all that happened. Right. And uh, I'm just here to speak about positive attitude. And, uh, you know, just see if I can help people out in an inspirational way. So. so can you tell us just a short version of what happened to you during the bonfire? Oh, my gosh. That's a long story. Uh, yeah. But yeah, but ultimately, uh, in 99, the bonfire collapsed. I was one of the student workers on it. Um, and I was pinned and trapped for about seven and a half hours uh, while fire workers slowly got me out. And uh, they didn't think I was going to make it, but uh, I did. So I'm still here and, you know, glad to be. And... Uh, I don't know what else to say. It was, like, well, it was a long evening, right? I mean, <laughs> well, it sounds like because of that, you have reevaluated things and found a new passion and mission in your life. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I think uh, you know, becoming handicapped and learning have to have a struggle and go through those sort of things uh, just makes you a stronger person. And uh, you know, I wouldn't go back and, and take it away because I'd be a totally different person. Yeah, it totally like sometimes what is it like make lemonades out of uh, yeah, make well, lemonade make out of lemons. lemons. Yes, uh, lemons make lemonade. <laughs> I can't even say it right. That's because I've had a few of those lemon experiences myself. <laughs> so tell us, what is the one takeaway, um, your top favorite one that we can tell everyone that, oh, uh, that gosh. we're going to say tomorrow? It's hard to say. I probably enjoyed the, the sales the most, uh, how to close deals. Uh, even though I'm not a salesman, I just, uh, I just appreciated uh, their knowledge and their experience on that. Yeah, I did too. Um, so how did you get involved with Eric and the Habitude Conference? Uh, basically through networking. Uh, uh, somebody I know in College Station uh, put me in touch with Eric. And then uh, with, and this was just last week. And, uh, you know, so here I am. He said, you should come to Dallas and be a speaker for me. So I just did. I jumped in the car and said, all right, let's do it. I love it. Look at that tenacity. Just like, man, going to do it. Taking life. So grateful to hear your story and um, just so impressed and inspired by you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, John.